Hi everybody, Rob here. Uh, one of the questions I get asked most frequently by my students is what kind of food is it to enjoy in England and what kind of food should we try when we come over to visit? As it happens, I'm back in England for a couple of weeks. I'm in my home city of Kingston upon Hull, which is in the north of England, and I'm getting heckled and I'm braving wind and rain and the cold. We're going to go around some places and I'm going to show you exactly what there is to enjoy. And it's about time because I'm absolutely starving. Where better to start than with an English classic fish and chips with mushy peas in one of Hull's most famous fish and chip restaurants, Bob Carver, in the city, in the city centre. So uh, you might have tried fried fish before, but perhaps you haven't tried the mushy peas, which is like a mixture of beans and bicarbonate and soda, which gives it an unusual texture. Next on the list is tea and scones, but for that we're going to have to go to a cafe. Okay, so I found a cafe. I got my tea and my scones. This is super, super English. I've got a uh, scone, which is, is kind of like a, a bready cake kind of thing with, uh, with some sultanas. And when you have one of these, the typical thing that I have with it is you've got strawberry jam and clotted cream. Now this is like a, a cream, a fresh cream that's so thick, it's, it's almost like butter. And of course, if you're going to have your scone, you're going to have a cup typical English black tea with milk. So, as you can imagine, I'm already feeling pretty full. Uh, so I think we're going to take a break for a bit. So today we've come to a cafe so that I can show you uh, super traditional full English breakfast. Don't worry, we don't eat this every day. It basically consists of an assortment of fried goods. We have baked beans, we've got bacon, fried tomatoes, a fried egg, fried mushrooms, a sausage, and a hash brown, which is it's like a deep fried potato. Also, uh, the obligatory slice of toast with fresh butter, uh, which of course you wash down with a, with a cup of tea. Now we're in another cafe, and this time we're having a plowman's lunch. Although this is the kind of thing that you'd usually have in a pub with a, with a pint of beer. Uh, the, t the typical elements are you have a selection of cheeses with a piece of bread and butter and some pickle. This is a uh, diced vegetable which is mixed with a sauce of vinegar and some spices. Although this one also comes with some coleslaw, a uh, side salad and some apple wedges. There's only one more thing left on my list that I want to show you and that's a traditional roast English dinner. For that I'm going to take you to a pub this Sunday. It's Sunday, we've found our pub, and I've just realised that I can't record audio in here because of the music playing in the background, and I don't want to get into trouble with copyright. But that's okay, we've ordered anyway, haven't we, Rob? So, cheers. All that's left to do now is wait for the food to arrive. Here you have a typical English Sunday roast dinner. This is usually served in pubs across England on a Sunday afternoon sometime between 4 and 8, but if you search for a carvery, you'll find something just like this. Usually you'll have a choice between a selection of roast meats, such as turkey, pork, gammon, and in this case I've gone for roast beef. This is served with fresh vegetables, roast potatoes, although sometimes with mashed potatoes too, and a Yorkshire pudding. This is like a soft, savoury pudding, which is made from batter. A lot of people, when they hear the word pudding, they think, oh, it's going to be sweet. But in fact, no, it's, it's, it's savoury. And then finally, we have, uh, we have gravy, which is a meat sauce that we see on top of the roast beef. Absolutely delicious. So if you don't mind, without further ado, I'm going to tuck in and enjoy my dinner. So that's it. Everything. I hope that's left you with, uh, with a hungry feeling in your stomach. Let me know in the comments below which of the foods you've seen today you'd like to try when you come over to visit England. I want you to have as much fun as possible becoming fluent and confident in English. So if you want to see more videos from me, don't forget to click on the subscribe button before you go.